Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Castaway Island Stories. My name is Eros and we have just came back from discovering a hut in the middle of the jungle that had some medicine in it that we needed because we got a mysterious illness and we also found some parachute rope. So we're going to go ahead and take that parachute rope and find our raft over here and uh, see if we can go ahead and use that rope on this. There we go. Tie up with the ropes that we had and uh, hopefully this will help our raft out our raft situation out pr quite a bit. Uh, we did adopt an adorable orangutan, so that little orangutan is now part of our little, like, tribe, uh, island area, so that's pretty cool. And we are going ahead and making our raft nice and pretty, tying it up nice and sturdy with these ropes that we have, and hopefully it'll be A-OK. -okay. And, yeah, she's doing a good job tying everything together, making it nice. I wonder if it'll float, though. What if it doesn't float? Like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do if it doesn't float? Mm -hmm. And not bad for my first raft, if I do say so myself. So, did we do it? Did we win? I still need a few parts before I can set sail, though. Alright, so it looks like we are gonna need a few parts. It could take me a while to finish the raft, but the hot by the lagoon looked pretty inviting. I think I'll move there. <gasps> We're moving? Oh my goodness. Girl move to the lagoon. The lagoon will be a much nicer place to live. Hint to move to the lagoon, click on the jungle portal and choose move out. Your castaway will automatically move into the shady lagoon lot. Oh my goodness. We are moving houses. What? We're moving? Can I go ahead and take what I have with me? Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can pick it up. And let's go into this mode. And I guess we can sell. Let's go ahead and sell it um, for resources. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. There we go. Selling all the stuff. Can I like bring this with me? Bring my tiki. My tiki man. Maybe I don't want to bring it with me. I mean it did make me sick. Uh, can we go ahead? How do I put it in my inventory though? Is there a way to do that? I don't know if I want to sell this. We'll just leave that one there for now. And, uh, can we pick this up? Take with us? Let's go ahead and take this. It might be pretty important. And then, can we... Uh, let's see. I don't know if we can take this with us. I kind of want to, though. Or maybe we can just get another one with the different resources that we have already. We do have quite a few resources, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that idol with us. And... We'll just leave this here. We'll try to figure that out later. And then we can go ahead and move to the shady lagoon and let's go ahead and click there and hopefully our little orangutan buddy comes with us and it looks like we have arrived at our new home and let's see thanks to the previous owner i'll have running wa rain water so that'll be pretty nice i want to conserve my water awesome so this is our new home we have a new like awesome place like how cool is this i didn't know we'd be moving to this nice little like area over here and let's see, there's bananas. Can we have our orangutan gather up bananas for us? We can! Let's go ahead and have him gather bananas for us. Um, so we can go ahead and have that. Monkey around, eat papaya. Uh, looks like we can only have him gather up bananas. So we're going to go ahead and have him gather up a bunch of stuff for us. Because that'll be pretty nice to have. And then now we have this like really cool little house area. Uh, that we can go ahead and decorate and make our own. So that'll be nice. It looks like we have an actual bed in there. We have some rainwater. So nice. This is really cool. I'll eat papaya. Can we go ahead and put that down? Why is I kind of want to see it. Let's go ahead and go here. Maybe because we're not in the lot per se. Uh, let's see. And then go like this. How do we put the walls down? How do we put it down? Maybe we just can't. We just can't put the walls down. Maybe we have to go inside? Oh, and there we go. We had the roof thing on. So there we go. So now we can go ahead and put the walls down. Go in here so we can change into formal undies and some mirror and PJs. I wonder where that weird black thing happens. When we're in our house, here's our bed. We have a nice little, like, torch right here. This is nice. You have a nice little table. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Uh, place the trash pit on the lot to dispose of trash. So let's go ahead and purchase um, a new item in the bartering system and buy a new trash pit. So let's go ahead and take this and let's go ahead and put it somewhere 
not too close to anything important. Ooh, we can put it behind the potty. <laughs> put it behind the potty. That's where all the trash goes. Um, so nice. There we go. And let's see. Anything else we need to furnish the hut? Um, I should take some time and resources to fix up the hut. Make it my own. To furnish the hut, all your sim needs to do is place three new items. Click on the barter mode and choose any three objects from the catalog to place. If you choose to delete and sell items, you will need to place three new items in addition to replacing them. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and do some decorating. We're going to decorate our place. Uh, we can go ahead and clean this up now. And then let's go ahead and look around and see what we want to use to decorate. We do have 144 resources. So we have a couple things that we can go ahead and use to decorate our new humble abode. And let's see, what is this? There's different stuff. Can we get a better bed? We can get a, we can get a crib. Oh my goodness. That means we can have a baby one day. Oh my goodness. What is this? Um, a comfy pet pillow. Oh, do we need one of those for a ring tape friend? Let's see. Um, floors are hard. Would you sleep on them? Of course not. How could you expect a beloved pet to sleep on that? Uh, maybe? Is this for a ring tape? Yeah, we should totally get our ring tape a nice little, like, pet pillow. You know? So he is nice and comfortable in our home. Uh, we can go ahead and get a mirror, maybe. Let's go ahead and have that go up a little bit so we can kind of see on the inside. So maybe we'll get a mirror. There's different types of lighting that we can get. Cooking utensils and cooking things. Uh, hunger. We can go ahead and get a stove one day. That'll be nice. Um, a pantry raid, a food basket. And let's see, it looks like there's a little, oh my goodness. This is a toddler training toilet. We can definitely have babies one day. Definitely gonna have babies. Uh, what is this? We can get a little um, a trash can. We can get a little food dish. I don't think our orangutan needs a food dish. I don't know if this bed is for a orangutan. Maybe it's for a different type of pet. Are we gonna get another type of pet? I don't even know. Uh, small rocks. Decorative, um, different wood. We can go ahead and get a dream catcher. We can get a nice plant, um, to put in our house. We will do that. Have, like, a nice little, like, plants in our house. Or what's this? A little something to put um, on our wall and this is a pint size pine crate that we can put down maybe and this is a little like scuba helmet and then let's a smiley face this is for the babies again uh, we can get adorable little like children's toys oh my goodness it's gonna be fun I love decorating I'm uh, not too sure yeah I don't know if this bed is for a ringtain so maybe we should go ahead and sell that for now and see, because I don't, we, oh, we can get a little love seat to put in our house. That'd be cute. Let's see, what's this? A little rock and it looks like a um, little wood love seat. Oh, this is so cool. And there's like so many other things that we like, we just can't even get yet just because we can't afford them. So let's go ahead, we can get a little desk. Maybe we should get a desk. We can have a nice little desk that we can put down. I wonder if we can go ahead and write. So let's go ahead and put this desk down um, in here, like so. And we can go ahead and kind of like turn around a little bit to see what we can decorate this with. We'll need a nice like little chair. Looks like we can't afford a chair right now. It's gonna be too much money to get a chair. You know, that's okay. Sometimes you just don't even need a chair, okay? You just don't even, even need a chair right now. And we can go ahead and get like a nice mirror. And let's see, where can we put that down? Why is it so hard to place? Go ahead and put a mirror um, nice right there. And then let's go ahead and get something. We can get... Um, this little like dream catcher can we kind of put it like over our bed a little bit or maybe just like by the door let's see put it right there there we go all right so we got a mirror a dream catcher and a nice little desk in our hut so I think that'll be pretty good 
for us and we should have yes we have completed decorating our little area so that is awesome look at our little orangutan friend he's so cool and it is doing a little let's see come on let's go explore the island i just know you have some friends here that you're not telling me about if i meet the idol's maker um, it should be an icebreaker. All right, so it looks like we have to go ahead and go explore. Explore with the idol. And you must have the idol in your inventory when you travel to the shrine. And I think I do have him in my inventory. Uh, oh, yeah, and it did take our little trunk with us. Awesome. Okay, so I was worried about that. So it did take everything with us um, when we went so let's go ahead and place down our trunk again and then we do have an idol in our inventory so we can go ahead and explore um another new area so many new areas here there's just so many new things let's go ahead and explore to see what else we can go ahead and see and find it looks like is he giving us a banana or are we giving him a banana i think we just gave him a banana that is so cute i love having an ring and tang friend ring and tang friend all right so now we're gonna go ahead and explore to see what we can find to the prim evil shrine Ooh, we are in a new shrine area this is so cool this game is so much fun uh this rune shrine looks like it has an altar designed to hold um that little idol that we have so let's go ahead and see is it in here let's go ahead and cut this down so we can go ahead and place place this little thing that we have collected there we go to use our hatchet and machete looks like we are collecting some resources too so that's nice let's go ahead and get all the resources that we can get right now so we can get more things to decorate our home with it's gonna be a lot of fun get that down and go ahead and get this and then place our idol here and it's telling me to leave whoa who needs a tv when you got a secret passage way through an ancient wall Tricky Island Architect. So it looks like when we placed the idol, we were able to see a brand new area. So that's pretty cool. Um, don't worry, I forgive you. <laughs> it's so funny all this stuff that she kind of just says. So let's go ahead and see uh, what's out this way. Explore. She is pretty tired though. Um, secret patches way through the ancient wall. Let's go and check it out. So when we placed the idol down, it opened up this wall. So let's go ahead and explore that to see what we can find. Let's see if there's anything new. The Baron Banks. Ooh. A whole new world. A whole new world. And it looks like... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? What? There's more people here. We have found people. Look here. We're saved. They found us. It's about time. Did you bring any food? Saved at last. Do you have any video games? Or a cell phone? I need to call my broker. Where's the helicopter? Finally, I'm so bored. Uh, where did you come from? Um, we're survivors from the Solemn Queen. So am I, she says. So am I. Uh, how unfortunate. The Queen really has let her standards slip of late. Oh my gosh, what? That's so rude. So it looks like all these people are, are from the same ship that we um, were on and they have all kind of like hung out over this area while we were all by ourselves hanging out with orangutans and it looks like now we have to go ahead and kind of like talk with these people to see what's up to see what they know. Oh my goodness. What? They're not married. Are they dating? Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Who is in charge here? Uh, the old guy who feeds us say shouldn't we be shouldn't he be back right now I'm starving so it looks like they do have some type of leader let's go ahead and chat to all these people see how they're doing uh, I don't really want to move in with them I kind of like my own place so hopefully we can keep our own little hut area and can we go ahead and talk to him I don't think we can um looks like Robbie you know have you started building a raft uh, now that sounds like too much work to be any fun do that <laughs> pull my finger so it looks like these guys are just like hanging out and just like not 
doing too much, I think. They're just kind of like resting on the beach. Did you bring us any food? Um, no. No, I didn't bring you any food. Uh, I mean, I do have some food, I suppose. Invite someone over. Uh, she wants to gain a skill and she wants to talk. So we can go ahead and talk with people. Chat with her. And I don't know. You'll get me home to my family. My monthly garden club. Something, something. Okay. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and talk with her. Sandra over here. Have you been eating anything at all? Of course, the elderly gentleman brings us food um, from his little jaunts into the jungle. Is he here now? No, he must be off exploring again. I asked him to bring me a pet from the jungle. Um, <laughs> something he can't eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. And let's, see, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. She's like sleeping right now. Gina, wake up. Uh, I guess she's not going to wake up. And speak with survivors. Speak with the survivors. Click on each and select talk and then select chat. So we have spoken to her uh, and him. Let's see. Who else have I not talked to? We need to speak with everybody. If we talk to him, let's go ahead and talk to uh, this guy over here. Is he the leader? He might be the leader. Are you the elderly gentleman who gets everybody food? It looks like it. He's the one making the fire. He's the one actually doing things around camp. So maybe this is the guy. So who's really in charge here? Um, I am, I suppose. Yes, me. I'm Hugh Bradley. I'm sure you've heard of me. If this guy is the alpha, I'd hate to see the rest of the letters. <laughs> um, I'm glad I found you. I'm worried about the elderly gentleman. Oh, what's his name? Professor Reinhardt? No need to worry about that old hyena. He seems perfectly at home here. Uh, I'm going to go look for the Reinhardt. You should stay here. Do whatever you do. Good idea. Say, if you don't find him, will you bring us some food? Alright, so it doesn't look like this is the guy that actually does stuff around camp. It's the other um, gentleman who was off. Find the professor. And let's see. Reinhardt could be anywhere on the island. I should start looking right away. To find the professor, go to the unexplored jungle portal and choose explore. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore and see if we can go and find this professor. And I think the portal over here is the new part of the island that we haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and hit explore and go and find. If I was the professor and all these like people were just like hanging out and just not doing anything. And yeah, I don't think I would want to come back to camp either. Maybe the professor kind of just set up his own home somewhere and was just like, yeah, peace. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to the swamp, another new place, another new place to explore and to find and to see. And we have arrived and, let's see, it does look pretty swampy over here. Looks like there are some banana trees and we can go here. Do I see any professors anywhere? Uh, let's see, do I need to go ahead and explore more? Maybe. Maybe he's not in here. Uh, what is this? Explore, return home. Explore. Oh my goodness. We're exploring. We are explorers. Looks like there are some wood, like little resources that we can go ahead and pick up. So let's go ahead and pick up a few of those. And how is our hunger doing? Do we need to go ahead and get any food? Oh my gosh. We are pretty low on our needs. Um, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of something something. Let's go ahead and get that stick really quickly. And then I guess we can go ahead and explore this area here and to see if we can find this professor. Uh, but yeah, our needs. We need to go potty. Actually, can we go potty over here? Is this a potty place? No, I think that's just some bamboo. Because uh, sometimes uh, some of these kind of look like potty places, but I don't think any of these places are potty places. What are you supposed to do when you can't find any place to go potty? Just need to go potty. Just need to go potty. And let's see. She's still thinking about babies. She definitely wants to uh, to have a baby one day. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to fulfill her dreams of having children. Uh, so now we are going to the boneyard. Ooh, that sounds pretty 
mysterious and scary. Oh, and there he is. That must be the professor. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Sims Castaway Stories. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to this professor, Weinfort Reinhardt, and see what he has to say. Maybe he can help us get out of here. Maybe he can tell us a little bit more about the other people. And maybe we can kind of work together and get some materials. And look at this place. Like, there's bones everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.